What's up, Piston fan? If you like good, solid Detroit Pistons content based on their news, rumors, and just Pistons talk all together, make sure you subscribe to Flagrant Elbow. Let's get to the video. Um, and, you know, there was a moment where Jay, I was playing defense against Cade and he went to the hole and I got elbowed in the face. Like, the first possession. Flagrant Elbow. Um, so that was, you know, a welcome to NBA moment. So what's up, you Piston fans? How y'all doing out there? It's your boy Flagrant Elbow talking about Russell Westbrook to Detroit. Uh, something that's been going on. Talks have been um, um, going on for quite a while now, uh, within the last month or so. Um, but now it's heating up again. So we're going to get into that discussion and my take on that, how I feel about it, um, and what I think should happen or shouldn't happen with regards to Russell Westbrook or really any star veteran at this point in the NBA, uh, in the Detroit Pistons journey to restore. So that's what we're going to discuss today in this quick video. Uh, with that being said, I do want to thank everybody for their continued support. Um, ask that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time checking out your boy Flagrant Elbow. Uh, become a subscriber right now. We have 444 subscribers. Uh, we just talk Pistons talk. That's all we got right now, and that's all we're rolling with. So we want to thank everybody that's been rolling with us so far from day one. A lot of people in my comments been there from day one. Um, I appreciate every comment you guys make. I always try to reply. And um, just want to always remember to try to keep keep everything respectful in the comments. And even if you're replying to someone else's comment, let's, uh, let's, let's be respectful as a community here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. The discussion has been boiling about Russell Westbrook getting out of L.A., being traded to the Detroit Pistons, for a number of our veterans, no, uh, Noel, Burks, um, Olenek, and um, giving us Russell and a 2027 first round draft pick. Um, how do I feel about that? I like Russell Westbrook as a player. I think he has a lot of heart. I think he has that dog in him. I think he's very competitive, and I think he can teach young players um, something in this league. But for him, the Detroit, for him to come to the Detroit Pistons would not make any sense at all whatsoever. I don't care how you break it down. The Detroit Pistons do not need a Russell Westbrook um, right now in their journey to restore. The focus right now should be on chemistry with the young core, developing this young core, and uh, especially with the new pieces that we just added in the draft. Adding a player like Russell Westbrook would disrupt all that has been built up since Troy Weaver has been here. The breaking down, the shakeup of the players that were here before Russell got here, before um, Troy Weaver got here, um, that would disrupt all of that. The development that's been happening, uh, we just got the number two, uh, the number one draft pick, uh, the number one, uh, the number one draft pick in K. Cunningham, the number one point guard in last year's draft at the number five spot, Jaden Ivey, Jalen Durham, a steal. Uh, that we got uh, arguably the best big man off the draft board in this uh, year's draft. So to get a player like West Russell Westbrook would disrupt all of that chemistry, would disrupt any development, taking that away from the young players that we have. Um, I don't think that we need that type of star veteran player in Detroit right now. I like Russell Westbrook. He needs to be on a team like where he's at with the Lakers, a team that's ready to contend um, so he can get a ring. That's where he needs to be. To put Russell Westbrook with the Detroit Pistons would disrupt everything that we have um, going right now that, that Troy has put in place. Um, the only type of veteran leadership or veteran presence that the Detroit player need, Detroit Pistons need right now would be a veteran that's role players. Those who are good lock have good locker room uh, personalities will make a good locker room presence. We do not need a star veteran right now or one who thinks he's a star veteran right now. Don't forget, uh, if you get Russell West, West, Westbrook, he's going to demand. I, I can't talk today. If you get Russell Westbrook, he's going to demand the ball, um, be in his hands in order for him to play and be effective. I mean, we already know he doesn't have a mid range shot. So, him being a leader or trying to help this team win games would be very disruptive to what's going on right now in the development that we have already seen taking place these last few seasons. So 
We don't need Russell Westbrook or any star veteran at this point to take away minutes or to take the ball away or out of the hands of our young core players who we are trying to develop and who we are trying to have um, build good team chemistry, in-game chemistry with one another right now. After next season, or maybe even next season, um, after we see what we need to get over the hump, then we can start looking at maybe uh, 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 positions we need to shore up in order to get over the hump. Uh, with emphasis, we may need to see that at this point because if our star, if our core develops well enough, um, then the pieces that we have in place already could be enough to get us over the hump with maybe the addition of more veteran role players. But the only time I see a, a star veteran needing to come to the De Pist Detroit Pistons is if there's a need um, to get us over the hump that our young core can't get us over and we need a position filled and we, we can end up getting one from a star veteran at a reasonable price, the one that won't disrupt too much of what we already have going on. And down the line, there may be pieces or a piece or two of this young core that we may have to trade away to get that type of player. But like I said, that's in the future, um, next season, end of next season, season after when we're uh, ready to be a uh, threat in the Eastern Conference. But for right now, we're um, a season or two away from that, at least, at least. I, I really think we're three seasons away of, from being a significant factor in the Eastern Conference but I would love to be proved wrong. So that's my take on that. Um, once again, we don't need Russell Westbrook. Um, I like him as a player, but he doesn't need to be here in the, De in the Detroit uh, on the Detroit Pistons team. Um, we just need to continue in the route we're going, looking for veterans to play roles. And that's what we got with Nerlene's Burks, um, or even O'Lennon coming in here playing roles. But we had Grant, remember Grant wanted to be the man. Well, we got Kay Cunningham now. We drafted well this, year, this last year's draft as well. So. Didn't need Grant, so moving Grant was no big deal for me. Actually, it was needed in order to uh, to let him go on and be with the contending team or or the uh, team that's making a deep run in the playoffs. But for right now, we're not there yet. And you think about the going to work Detroit Pistons back in the day. Uh, in order, they, they had a, a a whole team full of role player veterans. Um, made a few draft moves, and then when they saw where they were headed in the Eastern Conference. To get over the hump, they needed a player. Who did they get? They went out and got Rasheed Wallace. Rasheed Wallace took them over the hump. So and when we get to that point, then I would say, yeah, let's look for a star veteran, depending on which which one of our young core pieces uh, may be uh, may need to be moved. But for right now, we can stick with the young core we got, let them develop some. Um, some of them are, are pretty, are, are what, two, uh, three year veterans already. Sadiq, Stewart, you know, they're three year veterans, even Killian. So we can roll with what we got so far uh, as far as on our team. Let these guys develop. Um, let Ivy and Duran develop, build king, team chemistry. That's why it's so important and uh, so nice to see them all hanging around and Rico um, hanging around, Rico Hines, and also hanging around at the. Um, the the playoffs last year um doing things together as a group building that that chemistry and uh, watching uh, woodward pistons the other day uh one of the guys on there made a good point saying that as far as russell westbrook helping and mentoring that's fine especially in the off season i agree with that we, and they said we don't need them during the regular season training camp we don't need them on the team but if a player wants to train with them like ivy has been um, seen working out with them that's fine let them get some tips, some things from Ivy that uh, some things. Let Ivy get some tips and things from Westbrook that he can use in his game. But we definitely don't need Westbrook to be on the team, giving up a lot of the role-playing veterans that we have just to get him. Um, I, we don't see that happening or or being a need for the Detroit Pistons right now, in my opinion. What about you? What's your opinion on this? Leave it in the comments. Let me know how you feel about. Uh, Westbrook coming to the Detroit Pistons. Do you like him? Do you want him here? Do you think we need him? Uh, this is just my take on it, especially since the water's been boiling around West Russell Westbrook here lately. I think the Lakers trying to get rid of him and trying to off his contract. Uh, they just got Patrick Beverly. I don't know what type of terms they're on. I know they kind of had uh, some issues back in the day, but um, sometimes you can have too many Chiefs on the team and not enough Indians. And that may be the focus that they got going on there. They're trying to make a run for a championship. 
but maybe they can't do it with Russell Westbrook. I don't think they can. So we'll see if they're able to move him, if they decide to keep him and, and make something happen. Uh, otherwise, either way, I don't care. I'm all about these Detroit Pistons, and that's what my focus on is on here. But let me know what you think about it in the uh, chat. Once again, we are at 444 subscribers. I thank everybody for their support. Thank you for taking the time out to listen and to tune in to your boy Flagrant Elvo. And with that being said, I want everybody to stay safe.